Hey YouTube, and welcome back to my Beginner's Guide to Dark Souls. Alright, uh, we're back at the bonfire. It's kind of painful to get back here. I had to run through Sen's Fortress uh, because the uh, platform was turned to the bottom, and you can't summon it from that side without going back across those narrow beams. And uh, it's much easier to just run to Sen's Fortress, so yeah. It's kind of annoying, but I'm back here. Uh, I also went and reinforced Master's Flask real quick, and uh, then I came back here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I picked up that large shard, so I'm gonna reinforce my armor. Pretty sure I can reinforce my uh, elite knight helmet. I should have went the other way. Oh, definitely should have went the other way. Yep. So plus six it there, and uh, I'm gonna level up with the rest of my souls. Well, actually, I'm gonna use these uh, soul items I got. Uh, I have a lot of them, so I'll just uh, forward through this. Alright, so I'm done there. I'm gonna drink floss for no reason, but uh, I have a shit ton of souls. So let's do some leveling up. Um, I can get endurance or dex up to 40. I wanna do that, one of the two. I think I'll get dex up to 40 because we can still do a level after that and I'll get endurance up. Yeah. Cool, so we have basically max dex scaling. Uh, dex. Uh, strength deck, well most of the stats don't scale very well after 40 like it takes an immense amount more stats to get any more and uh, like let's say a uh, strength point like from 32 to 33 would increase uh, your weapon damage by 5 or 6 points uh, you know from 40 to 41 might be like 1 or not even 1 point that's the that's the kind of damage difference so uh, yeah I maxed out my uh, weapon damage there so basically maxed out for uh, what most players do. No one really goes past uh, 40. Uh, you can go to 45. Going to 45 increases your cast speed time, so if you're a caster, uh, that would increase your cast speed. But uh, any more than 45 is pretty much pointless. So uh, we're gonna go down past here, and we're gonna go to our third Lord Soul area now. We're gonna go after the Four Kings of New Londo. So if you guys remember New Londo, uh, it is down uh, below in the way of Blight Town, like uh, in between here and Blight Town. Uh, we, we've passed through it a few times and just kind of ignored it, but uh, we're going to go through it now. Uh, roll around here. I just find it amazing that uh, you can get so many souls playing the game, like, uh, you know, picking up everything finding everything and uh, killing everything and you can actually love love you know never losing your souls from dying you can actually uh, level very high pretty early so anyway uh, come down here you can drop down here but we'll fall down here uh, pretty sure I got that already so uh, didn't remember that but uh, that's fine so run down here into the new Londo ruins of course uh, you can ignore these hollows they just kind of sit there being sad don't do anything. Uh, heading over here, uh, that's where you grab your. I grab the S talk, and that's uh, where you would have to grab it. Uh, if you come over here, you'll see a familiar character running at you. This is the Crestfallen Warrior from up at Firelink Shrine, the guy who uh, told us, you know, the first part of our quest. Uh, he uh, has gone hollow down here, as you can see. So uh, we're gonna have to kill him. And uh, he just parried my ass. So we're going to do the same to him. And actually, no, I can't parry. Not in this playthrough. This sucks. <laughs> Alright, I know it must be done. Thank you for killing that hollow. Wait for him to attack. He just parried. Is all you do is parry spam? Come on. Like, I can't kill you if you're just... Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Without circling him forever. I'm gonna have to, apparently. Holy retarded camera. <laughs> this 
This is so ridiculous. Come on. There we go. Ah, that was annoying. Yeah, anyway, he's a pretty good fighter, actually. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of health, though, so you can easily overpower him. But uh, you can see he just kind of parries the shit out of you. If you're using especially a slow weapon like this, it's very easy to parry. So, yeah. Kind of shitty there, but uh, that's okay. He hasn't respawned, of course, and uh, yeah. He is now gone forever. Actually, uh, before we run over here, uh, what you're going to want to do is smash this pot. And uh, this pot will give you a transient curse. It's my bar. Yeah, uh, transient curse uh, temporarily curses you. It's not like the curse uh, that, you know, the one you get from the frogs or uh, another area in the game, but uh, this curse just, uh, I'll use it right now, uh, this curse lets you fight ghost enemies, and this next area has ghost enemies. So see, it puts this uh, silver aura around you. Uh, you also can't use it while you have any other body effect, like uh, power within, green blossom, those kind of effects, uh, you can't use them at the same time. So these ghosts have no defense, so uh, they're pretty easy to kill in one shot. I'm pretty sure I could do it without uh, two-handing. Uh, head on over here, uh, head through this doorway, you can see an item over here. And uh, run quickly past here, because some ghosts will pop up on the side. And uh, you'll grab yet another Firekeeper Soul. Uh, interestingly enough, if you you know know where this area is, it's right near the start of the game, you can actually run down here and do a suicide run and grab it. Or even just wearing a Ring of Sacrifice. Uh, and uh, grab the soul and have one at the start of the game, but uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, so they're going to drop some more transient curses. They usually drop these a lot, so it's okay. So we'll be able to reinforce Arrestus uh, after this again. Which is pretty nice. Uh, head over here and uh, smash this pod. And uh, we're going to find some more transient curses. So we got, what, seven, five. All right, so good. Lots of transient curses for the road. They last about five minutes, so... Uh, be wary, you're gonna have to reapply it every about five minutes you're here. So, uh, head up here, uh, some more ghosts will pop out of the ground. It's nice that we can kill them in one hit now. Drop an item? Nope. Go across this bridge, and uh, another ghostie will pop up here. Oh, I guess the ghostie was always there, we popped up on him. And uh, one will pop up here. Do a running attack on this one. And uh, miss epically. And uh, not kill that guy in one hit. For some reason. And uh, have this guy follow you. Okay, so we're gonna... They, luckily they don't hit very hard, so we're just gonna back up a bit. Yeah, they do have a grab attack. Looks like that. Uh, playing kind of badly right now. But, uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, so just bait and attack. They can reach forward pretty far, as you saw. Uh, they'll go back and hide if you go too far. You can get a running attack on this guy. There we go. Normally you can get a running attack on that guy right away, and it solves a lot of the problems. But uh, yeah, they're gone. Anyway, <coughs> and down here. Uh, the problem with these ghosts is they can float through the walls, and they can come from all over the place, so uh, it's kind of dangerous. You don't know where they come from. Uh, come over here, I do believe uh, this is the parrying dagger. And watch out, there's a ghost in the wall there. So I just this and take him out. Uh, the parrying dagger is uh, kind of cool. It's a little sigh. You put it in your uh, left hand and you can parry with it. It's pretty cool. It does a cool parry animation. Uh, doesn't do very much damage though. It's pretty much only used for parrying. I mean, it is the parrying dagger. Uh, another one will pop up here. Give him a smack. Uh, there's one over here, this is different than the ghost, this is a banshee. Uh, you can see she screams, but uh, she does go down the same way. Uh, when they scream, I do believe they do a very deadly attack. Uh, grab attack, that's more deadly than the other ghosts, and uh, I think their actual strikes hurt a lot more. So uh, watch out for the one, the uh, ghost with glowing red eyes, those are the banshees. So uh, we're going to traverse the white light. So no boss, but uh, we are up here now. And uh, come over here and kick this ladder. There's a ladder here. And uh, that over there is where the first two skeletons spawned when you uh, run up the stairs. It's over here. So uh, if you need to come back, you can just drop down 
and I've come up this ladder so you can skip that whole ghost room. Pretty convenient. So I uh, come over here and uh, you see that there's ghosts from the top. Uh, grab a large soul of an aimless soldier. You see the ghosts are attacking from the top. Come on, ghosty. Uh, it is annoying when they're in the air like that, though. Alright. There's another one uh, below us. Just run past them here. I think there's two of them, actually. Yeah. And uh, if you run over to these stairs here, they do de-aggro. So just stand on these stairs and they'll go away. So uh, this area we're coming up to, there's actually two ways to go about it. Uh, the first way is you can go into it, this big room right here. It's one of the hardest areas in the game for some people. There's a... Uh, you get... I'll just spoil for it for you now because it's kind of hard. Uh, you get gangbang by like 12 ghosts in there and it kind of sucks. Not, not literally gangbang, of course, but look, you can see one of them just hovering there right now. Uh, but you go in there and of course there's ghosts. Uh, what you're trying to get to is that guy up there. Uh, there's another way to get through this area and I'll tell you about it after, but I'll show you guys the easiest way to get through this area. Uh, if you look down there, you can actually see the ghosts coming for you. Some of them at least. Uh, what you want to do to handle this area is run in here and get some of their attention and just come back out here. Uh, you won't get all their attention, of course. You'll get some of their attention, and that's all you really want. And uh, you're just going to want to take out a few of them at a time. Apparently my transient curse has run out. Notice? So, but, so uh, these ghosts are coming for me, of course. Come on, ghosty. Be careful not to attack them when they're over there, though, because, you know, the force of you attacking can easily knock you off. Oh, shit. Yeah, beware of that. That's their grab attack. So, come on, closer, ghosty. So, that's two down, at least. It would have been better if I didn't have my transient curse, or I uh, did have my transient curse, but what can you do? Come on. Come on. Come on, ghosties. Alright, well, a lot of them are dead, so it's pretty safe to run in here now. I mean, there's still going to be some ghosts, so this is usually where all the ghosts come at you. So we're going to wait to see if any spawn. Yep, they're on there. They don't spawn, they just come from different locations. There's that one up top there. Yeah. Ooh, two for one, very nice. So I think we did get... Most, if not all. Uh, if you come in this room, there's another banshee, so we're gonna take it out quickly. That was wrong. Some ghosts spawn here. Take him out. And now grab some more transient curses. Very nice. Now I gotta top off my health. And now uh, head up this ladder, of course. Uh, I guess there was some ghosts left because they're attacking me as I go up the ladder. Don't do much damage, of course. So uh, we're up top on the roof where that guy was. Uh, don't attack him; he's not hostile. And uh, we're gonna go see what's up with him. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This oh, you is know the it. key to the seal. Why, thank you. The four kings number in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the Abyss, if you can find him, and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. Alright, so a lot of lore there. Uh, the four kings are slumbering here, but uh, they are in the abyss and we cannot reach them because we are not, uh, we are a mere mortal. So, uh, we will continue this area, but uh, we might not be able to fight the boss, who knows, there could be a problem we encounter. But, uh, 
we will continue on. We'll forge onward. There's, of course, more ghosts in here. I've uh, learned that. So I'll watch out for them. Yep, there's one. I know uh, at least one or two of the ghosts in here are banshees, or at least they wield different weapons. There's two kinds of ghost weapons, and one of them is a lot stronger. And uh, I remember at one time one of the ghosts was just ripping me apart for no reason. And, yeah, just pretty sure there's some more dangerous ones around here. So I uh, head on down here and come up to an item. Uh, this is the curse bite ring. Uh, this increases your curse resistance by I think like the quadruples your curse resistance. So uh, whatever it is, it quadruples it. So it's a pretty nice resist or ring to have if you need curse resist. But uh, most people won't need it. But it's there if you need it. So uh, head on back here. Uh, this is down the stairs uh, from the entrance. You look up here. Yeah, it's the entrance to the house. Uh, I think there's an item around there. I'm going to go grab it. But I do think that's where the scary ghosts are. It's in this way. Yeah. There. There, I killed it. That ghost, for some reason, always destroys me when it attacks me. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, come over here and uh, grab this soul of a proud knight. And uh, there's going to be some annoying ghosts there. Uh, roll through here. So uh, we're back here. And uh, head back out here. Uh, yeah, usually when I run out here, when I skip the house, I just uh, run up here. Uh, but the way to skip the house, guys, is uh, what you do is... This guy's going to hit me through the wall. Uh, what you do is you go back up at the top of the stairs where those guys de-aggro, and you shoot him with a bow from a distance. Uh, don't shoot him in the head, though. It pushes him back too far uh, from the stagger. Just shoot him with a bow, uh, upgraded bow. You might need some decks. And, uh, yeah, uh, it'll aggro him eventually. And you just when it aggros him, he'll just run into the fence constantly, and you just shoot him from there, kill him. And uh, he drops the key to the seal. So uh, it's pretty good. So come up here. And uh, we're going to grab uh, an item over here. I do believe it's a humanity. Yep, humanity. And uh, if you look on this house here, uh, there's an item over there. So I'll just roll onto this house. This is the roof of the house. So just uh, a little bit under where Ingward is. So uh, grab this uh, rare ring of sacrifice. So uh, we have a bunch of rings of sacrifice now we might use later. Could be useful. Uh, it's good to at least grab one rare ring of sacrifice, and uh, you'll find out why soon. Uh, come out and roll here. And uh, we'll be back in the uh, room where the banshee was in the house. But uh, I do believe all the ghosts are dead now. So uh, i going to run down here. And uh, there's an item out here. Uh, I do believe it's a uh, green shard. Yep. So we got some green shards. So uh, we're going back up here where we went up top. Uh, just keep on running. And uh, there's going to be a little room you come to here. Uh, run up to the top. Well, at least up. And uh, it'll be at the top. And uh, pretty cool view of. New Londo here, I think. Nice view. But, uh, yeah, if you head out here, you'll see uh, this is actually uh, a border of a gate. And uh, if you come out here, you'll see this other side is actually the Valley of the Drakes. As you can see, there's dragons down there. It's pretty cool. And uh, there's an item right here. Uh, this is the composite bow, or composite bow, however you like to say it. And uh, it's a pretty good bow. It's uh, only useful at short ranges. It is the most powerful bow, I believe, but uh, it's only effective at short ranges, so uh, it's only really useful in PvP, not very useful in PvE, but uh, yeah. So uh, don't go down there yet. If you try to move this lever, it uh, does not move. And uh, head down here, and uh, you'll use the key to the seal. So uh, this is the seal, of course, so uh, we're going to open the seal.
All right, so uh, we open the seals. You can see it opens the giant floodgates, and uh, New Londo is no longer flooded. Uh, and it opens a way into uh, <clears throat> the Valley of the Drakes from the back. So that's pretty cool. You can go over here, and uh, if you pull this, you can now go down there. The uh, elevator here moves. Very nice. Just gonna top off my health. And now uh, we're gonna head on down below. So, uh, if you come in this gruesome area, you notice that we're standing on hundreds of bodies. It's pretty nasty. Uh, so if you walk a bit forward, you'll see something over there is moving. Uh, this is a new enemy in the area. It's a pretty difficult enemy. This is a Dark Wraith. This is what uh, the guy was talking about. So these are the, this is the Dark Wraith enemy. This is also the best enemy you want to kill if you're farming for Titanite chunks. Uh, they're also, they fight a lot like Silver Knights and Black Knights, so you can backstab them kind of easily. I'm pretty sure they have the same model, it's just different skinned. But uh, yeah, they're pretty, they do respawn and they drop a decent amount of souls and uh, they drop Titanite chunks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, item find up to max right now. So, uh, humanity. So I'll just uh, pop five humanity here. I'm not going to put the uh, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on because I don't want a mid-roll. So I'll just have the uh, max normal item find. Uh, there's an item out there I want to get. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to fight these uh, drakes there. I think you can fight them one at a time. I don't really want to fight them. I'm just going to run out and grab the item. I'm going to dodge them fairly, fairly easily. Uh, go up and climb this ladder. Uh, go up this ladder, you'll be fine. They can't climb up the ladder, they don't fly, which is weird. They're you know, drinks, they should be able to fly. Um, so, come up here, and uh, you'll grab the red tier stone ring. The red tier stone ring uh, works like the blue tier stone ring, which uh, we didn't pick up. It's the one item we didn't pick up because it's probably the most useless item in the game, but uh, what this one does is it increases your attack by, I don't know, I think it doubles it or something uh, when you're under 20% health or something. I think it's 20%. And uh, the blue tier stone ring increases your defense, but it's not very useful because when you're under 20%, I mean, another hit's going to kill you anyway, so I don't know. So they've reset. Uh, what we're going to do is, I guess, once, since they've reset, I can just slide down. Uh, I hope this, I don't die from this, but no oh, shit. So, just uh, run around them, they're actually kind of slow, and their lightning doesn't track very well. Actually, it doesn't track at all, it's kind of a, it just shoots wherever it initially started, and it doesn't actually track you, I don't think. But uh, anyway, just run a bit far away, and they'll uh, be aggro. So, I'll run up these uh, gruesome bodies, and uh, you come up here to this little uh, room type area, smashy smashy, just goes. And uh, come over here and grab another soul item. It's a large soul of Proud Knight. And uh, there's another Dark Wraith right here, so watch out for him. Uh, that thing he's doing right there, that's a Dark Hand. And what it does is uh, when he blocks with it, it well, it's a, it works as a shield for him. It works a lot differently for players. It blocks 80% of all damage, so it has really good de defenses. But it can't be upgraded and has really low stability. Looks really cool, though. Uh, you can also seal a person's humanity with it. That's what he was trying to do with it. When he does that uh, grab type move, uh, if he connects with you, it'll steal a humanity and do damage. So uh, watch out for that. So uh, we're gonna go through this fog gate. So no boss yet again, but uh, we are in a dangerous room. Um, I do believe there's a dark wraith coming for us right now. Yep, here he is, so uh, watch out for him. That was the worst aimed dark hand ever, buddy. So uh, he has dropped a chunk for us, very nice. So uh, there's another dark wraith over here, we're gonna go fight him. Yeah, their attacks are dangerous, they do do a, they can do a total of a four hit combo, and they do hit very hard, so uh, they can kill you quite easily. I've just been lucky to not really been hit by them yet, I don't think I have, or maybe only once. If you come over here, you'll find a new enemy. Uh, this is, I think it's called a soul mass or something. That's the official name. 
I don't know, it's like a, looks like a really evil form of muck, but yeah, uh, you just kind of bait it to come over in the circle. It's one of the easiest enemies in the game. It has a lot of health, though, and like pretty much, I don't know, I don't think it has defense, but it just has a lot of health. But uh, come on over here. Uh, you can see it spits out those screaming skulls thing, so uh, you can get close and bait those into exploding because they're annoying. They're really the only thing that make this thing hard. Uh, it's actually one of those enemies that's harder at a distance. This so was too close there. So uh, what you do is you just stay behind it. It's pretty easy to circle around. And you just hit. I mean, it's really easy to do damage on. You can see look how long it takes to even look at me. And then I staggered it. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's self-explanatory. It's so easy. Uh, just don't be at a distance from it. If that uh, weird blob attack hits you, it causes you to be all weird looking and bulbous and you walk slowly and take damage for uh, about 10 seconds. It kind of sucks. So I'll watch out for that. Head on over here and uh, we will meet another Dark Wraith. Come on. Watch out for that uh, two handed strike. It does a lot more damage, more poise damage, and uh, it can two hit combo. So, uh, yeah, it really hurts. Really, really hurts if it does. Usually one shots most of my characters, uh, on New Game Plus at least. Well, two shots, I guess. Uh, so come on here and grab this, uh, humanity. And, uh, head on through this door and up these winding stairs. Shit, don't fall down that hole. And, uh, run it out here towards this item. And, uh, this is a, uh, soul of a brave warrior, so nice soul there. And uh, keep on going. Uh, I'm going to run through here, but be careful. I just know my way through here. You can easily fall off the side here and you know, fall. Uh, run up these stairs. Uh, ignore over here and run past this way. And uh, you'll come to a chest. Don't worry, it's not a mimic. Let's see. And uh, open this chest. It's probably the best item in New Londo. This is the very large ember. Uh, this is the item that lets you upgrade your weapons from plus 10 to plus 15. So, uh, this is extremely useful. We'll be doing this uh, after this if I get enough chunks, so uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to head on back down these stairs. Actually, we're going to take a shortcut. Uh, if you fall from here, you'll live if you have full health, so just uh, roll off. See, I'm, literally, I'm fine. Top. Use my last heal spell and uh, head on back up this way. This is uh, opposite of the uh, fog gate, where the fog gate was. So uh, head on down here into this pool. And uh, run out of here, and another Dark Wraith will run out at you. Oh. See, there's that 2 hit combo. Oh. There's the 4 hit. Fooled ya. Alright, so he's down. No chunks though, kinda sad. Large soul of a proud knight. Uh, and this here, let's see what it says. Illusory wall, yep, it's right. So this is an illusory wall, smash it. And now there's some dark wraith over there. Uh, we're gonna get his attention with an arrow. Uh, fighting him on that bridge kinda sucks, so. Cool, that was an awesome combo there. But yep, yeah, he's fallen, and uh, run out of here. This is not a mimic chest, so uh, don't worry. And uh, grab a tight night jump. There's a few around here you can just find, so it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see this floating blood stain. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Oh, uh, so, uh, where are we going again? Sorry, head up these stairs and, uh, grab this uh, large solo proud knight. Then, uh, drop down and grab this item. There's, uh, some cracked red eye orbs. Uh, there's only ten you can find in the game. Four you find at Firelink Shrine at the start of the game that I grabbed. And, uh, these are the other six. So, there they are. Uh, those are used for invading other people's worlds. So, you can see another, uh, Dark Wraith is here. You can't get a plunge attack off when I'm missed there. 
Come on. That was your folly, sir. Alright, so he's down, and now uh, we can get a chunk from him. Very nice. Um, if they die while doing the dark hand shield or uh, animation, it'll just make that sound forever in the area. God, you might be able to hear it. I don't know. You'll hear it in your game at some point, I'm sure. But uh, head on back up these stairs that we uh, missed before. And uh, go up here, and there's uh, another soul mass in here, but there's also two dark rates. So uh, to get one of the dark rates' attention, you just walk up here, and uh, the one on the right will come. As you can see, here he is. So uh, just wait, do that, and uh, he'll come. Down pretty easy, and uh, he has another chunk, very nice. So uh, there is one more Dark Wraith in here, uh, so he will come. Uh, if you come back through this area, uh, like if you rest in a bonfire, there's usually two uh, ghosts in here. They come from above, but uh, because I cleared out all the ghosts before, of course, there's no ghosts now. So, uh, shit. Yeah, so he dropped another chunk for us, very nice. So uh, you can see the soul mass sucks in the distance. This thing explode. And now we're gonna take this guy out. Time to kill you, Captain Easy. Ow, that kinda hurt. There we go. Easy enough. So yep, that goes down. Sucks to not drop anything though. Uh, I see a chest. Let's see a chest over here. Grab this chest, uh, and it is a uh, another Titanite chunk. Very awesome. Big crunching of bones on the ground there. So creepy. So uh, head on out here. Uh, there is one more Dark Wraith. I do believe he's right here. So there's that four hit combo, extremely dangerous. There we go. Alright, so he's down. Uh, if you come over here, uh, there's usually a summon sign for Witch Beatrice here. If you've uh, summoned her for the Moonlight Butterfly, you can summon her right here. But I'm not human and I didn't summon her for Witch Beatrice, so... Or Moonlight Butterfly, so, uh, you know, she's not going to be there. Uh, so head on through this fog gate. So, uh, just go on down these winding stairs. Uh, I'm showing you guys this, uh, what happens when you go down these stairs. Uh, you might not know what I'm talking about now if you've never played the game and you're watching this, and I don't know if you are or not, but uh, head on down these stairs. They go on forever. Well, not forever, but they seem like they do. And now uh, you'll come down, it starts getting darker, and then into the darkness it ends. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on one of my many rings of sacrifice that I picked up. Well, yeah, I'm going to throw this one on. And uh, I'm going to show you what happens when you fall down here. This is uh, where the boss normally is, but this is what happens when you fall down. You just die instantly. Uh, you fall into the blackness, uh, but there is a reason for this, don't worry, you didn't die, uh, like, it's not, you know, you didn't go the wrong way, that is the right way, that is where the boss usually is, but, uh, Ring of Sacrifice Shattered, I don't know if it's gonna say the, uh, usually what it says there is, uh, it says you were taken by the Abyss, and, uh, because, uh, we need a special item or some way to traverse the Abyss, uh, so... We're gonna go get that item. I'm gonna throw my cable string back on. Uh, there it is. So, uh, we're gonna go get that item, but uh, we did get that done today. New Londo Ruins, but uh, we're gonna go get that item next episode. So, I will see you guys next time.